we'll write the sample space in each case uh, recall that sa the sample space is the list of all possible outcomes so let's look at the first uh, question it says that in the next two weeks we will record the number of days it will rain so when I say number of days it's a count so it's possible that in the next two weeks it does not rain at all which is zero days or so comma it could rain one day in the next two weeks or comma two days in the next two weeks and remember that this list can go on but since we are watching or recording the number of days it rains in the next two weeks only so two weeks would be 14 days so it is possible that it could be raining for all 14 days so there is an upper limit and since it's a list we've separated the outcomes by commas and we use the curly brackets and this is the sample space for question one so in the next two weeks and that's the reason why we have to stop at 14 if not the list continues and remember that we cannot have anything like a 1.5 or a 1.25 or a radical uh, 7 these numbers are not possibilities because the number of days just means counts and that's why we have 0 1 2 3 4 dot 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 14 so the next question it says we record the speed at which each car is going on a highway that has a speed limit of 70 miles per hour let's think of two scenarios let's assume that all cars are going uh, below the speed limit or at the speed limit um, so in that case just think of the various speeds at which a car could be traveling so it could be zero if if the car has stopped completely so zero is a possibility it could be going at 10.5 miles per hour it could be going at 32.5 miles per hour it could be going at 61.785 miles per hour and so on and the upper limit would be 70 if we can assume that all cars are either going at speed limit or below speed limit now here since it's not a count and the numbers decimal numbers and other numbers are possibilities we have to describe the sample space as a range of numbers as a range of values starting at zero and this would mean including zero so that's your starting point comma the ending point is 70 miles per hour so each is in miles per hour and we close the brackets so this means inclusion and this would mean not including if there is reason to believe that none of the cars have stopped then it would be 0 comma 70 which means that 0 is not included everything above 0 is included so this is how um, the sample space can be described as a range of values and these are called intervals they are not a list of numbers but they are a range of values with a lower limit and an upper limit if you remember this is called a discrete sample space discrete means separate it goes 0 1 2 3 4 and this is a continuous sample space And it includes all starting at 0, ending at 70, 
every number in between is included and that's why it's called continuous.